We're back! Welcome back, everyone! Wreck here, Wreckabilly here, whatever you want to call me, Wreck or Wreckabilly. CDF calls me Hillabilly. Wreck a Hillabilly. <laughs> uh, that's not what you should call me, though. Alright, welcome everyone to the world. We got some interesting things to do today. Gotta build some, do a little bit of redstone and stuff. Should be lots of fun. Alright, but right here, as you can see behind me, I got a little bit of redstone laid out. Just a little bit. And this is gonna be our new chicken farm. I decided we're gonna have a little, like, house of farms. Um, pure automatic food farm. So this is gonna be our spot for, um, for food. Our little restaurant, if you want to call it that. This is our restaurant right here. Gonna be really cool. Nice place. Perfect location right next to the house. Right up there is the house. I, I really love it up here. It's starting to look really cool. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing I want to do is finish building this little thingy. This chest here is temporary. There's going to be a, uh, um, a dispenser there. But yeah, I'm pretty excited because having an infinite source of food is going to be nice. Now, I don't necessarily need to show you guys me building that. Um, because it's not really like an innovative way of doing chicken farms or anything But I do want to go ahead and get started on this so I can have an infinite source of food And we can be all happy and fed up and hung no more hungry. No more hungry. That's what I'm really excited about. No more hunger Okay, we are back down in here in our little boss fight and I have an idea um, I kind of mentioned this at the end of last episode, that I want to make it so that when we leave the area, it resets his health rather than doing it automatically. So that's what we're going to do right now. I did want to put like an iron gate here with some, some, uh, what do you call it? Iron f or pistons popping it out and stuff like that. But unfortunately, I actually ran out of iron. I have a bit. I have, I have a little bit. I didn't realize that was iron actually. I thought that was wool. But I have some iron! Never mind, we might actually do that gate. <laughs> Alright, we'll try to do the gate and then we'll make it so that there's like a little entryway here. That when we walk out, it resets the trigger for that up there. Or we'll make the entrance on this side. I'm not quite sure which side I want the entrance. All I know is that it's gonna need to look nice and look creepy and then when we get here it'll look awesome we'll battle it out against the boss battle here he'll shoot some arrows at us and then um, once he gets a lower health he'll have a chance of killing us so yep that's the plan that is the plan okay so what we're going to do first is make a couple pressure plates maybe we'll do three and then, um, hmm, we need to decide which side we want to do this on. I'm thinking this side, actually. So, we'll have the doorway. Oh, you know what? You know what? We also need to change the floor in here, but I guess we'll have to save that for another time. So, what we'll do is what we're going to have the wall right here so that you can't get out of this area and prevent yourself from getting shot not that I'm gonna cheat like that when I'm playing but we'll have the wall there and then we'll have a door here we'll do a little 3x3 door and to enter the door we'll have the pressure plates here and once you step on the pressure plates the door will open to get inside and that will reset his health. Yeah. I think. Should we do that? Maybe this should just be the exit. And then the entrance should be like something. As like, like we suddenly fall down into here. And have a little battle. That might be kind of cool too. Or we'll have an, en an entry door and an exit door. We'll do like the entrance on this side and then the exit on this side. So the entrance will we'll walk in, it steps on the pressure plate to open the 3x3 door. And then we'll start battling. 
And I think I'm going to have the mouse um, attack us on a random chance as well. So it's not always based on this over here. It has a chance of actually um, attacking us without us having to shoot him first. And yeah, I think I think that'll be pretty cool. Okay, so quick progress update. I added the entryways. This is going to be the entry and this is going to be the exit and because it's a single player I don't need to worry about cheating I know I'm not gonna cheat and if I have to that's fine I'll just get out it doesn't matter but um I'm going to make it so that this one is well it's just a basic door walk through pretty cool um, but this one is going to have lamps surrounding it which will tell us like oh we can finally exit because we've beaten him, he's dead. So when he's dead, those lights will turn on and maybe even the, the gates will just open on their own. Um, that's still up for debate, not too sure. But this redstone line decides when to turn off these lamps. Now I set this room up just a little bit. Um, it is off center, but that's fine. Not a huge big deal. No, no, not a big deal at all. Um, so these lights in here are going to be turned on until he is taken down of his second heart or second health right there. So if that light turns off, these lights will turn off and that will allow for them to spawn. And it doesn't mean that this is going to open. This is going to open separately. It's going to have a chance of opening um, every time it takes down one health, I guess. Or it should be random, shouldn't it? So it's throughout the whole thing. So every time you sh you every time you start um, every time that that second health is turned off, it will then start having a random chance of this door opening, and then it will close back. So then we'll we'll need a uh, T flip flop to open it, and then another T f or and then the same T flip flop will get powered again to close it. So we'll make it like uh, like a. I don't know, every one out of three chances it'll open and then close. So that sounds pretty fair. Um, so I'm just setting up these lights right here. I need to show you that I did update the redstone just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. But I added a piston here because we were having a problem that this line of redstone was staying turned on. And um, it kept this thing going crazy. So. Yeah, I had to turn it off that way, so that's fine. Just make it a single pulse, and then it works out perfectly. But let me show you how I'm doing the uh, the lights over there. So, right here, we have this magical torch. And this torch is actually pretty awesome, because we can now decide which one of these um, health things we want to determine for different types of redstone. Um, in other words, if I, well, I'm going to need a little bit more headspace, which is hilarious because I already thought this was too big in the beginning, but now it's not big enough. Okay, so if I put a piece of wool there and then some redstone dust here, and just for now, I'll put a little, I'll put a little lamp right there so you can see it. Um, so now, if we come right over here, this lever indicates losing health so when the boss loses health it's just like this redstone wire gets powered so it's the same thing as you can see he lost one of his healths right there one of one bar of health um, and then we keep going and he lost his second health now it's time for his third there we go so he lost his third health and now all the lights in the room will turn on such as this one did right here. Pretty simple, right? I hope you guys understand. It's not too complicated at all. Okay, something interesting happened here. These blocks and my redstone for all this disappeared. I came back to check on my chicken farm and I see these guys roaming around and these blocks right here were gone and I was like what oh, I must have forgot to close it off and then I came back here and all of my redstone back here is gone I don't quite know what to make out of this I don't know if I should continue or redo this because it's all gone all of it 
Oops. I mean, oh, dang it, man. That really sucks. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna fix this. And then we'll go downstairs, down into the little battle area. And uh, I'll show you guys what I've been doing. Give me one moment. Alright, I guess I'm kind of a derp. Turns out, I figured out, out what the problem was. These red, these uh, repeaters were not powering anything. This one was powering to turn it on, but this had an air block there, which means it would power the, the uh, lava and it would stay there, which lava burns wool. It burnt all my redstone off. So now I understand why it was, why it completely died, but I got it all working again. You can hear it going off. Got a ton of eggs in here that are that are being dispensed into that little little hole right there. And these guys hopefully will not find a way out of here. I'm just going to quickly push them and go like that. Just to be safe, I'm going to do that with all the sides because you know, sometimes they can glitch through the freaking walls and that's so annoying when they do that. Carrot. Sure, I'll take a carrot. And your zombie flesh, that's fine. Alright. So I got all this set up. Um, it's not quite finished, but I can finish off the little bit last last little bit with you all. Um what I do need is a fourth dropper. So that's just this and that's okay, four droppers, and I need another hopper. That's why I had to go back up into my base to get some more wood. I actually ran out of wood. Okay, and there we go. And I also need another comparator. So let's do... Uh, I only need three. One, two, three. And then... Do, do, do. Do. Whoops. Do. Stone. Awesome. Okay, so we got the stuff that we need to make this all work. Yummy carrot. So let me go ahead and show you guys what's going on. All right. So this is going to re or repeatedly uh, send a pulse. Um, I attempted to get this to work, but it didn't work out the way. I, I, I kind of set it up wrong. So let me get this guy and this guy. All right. So it's going to send a pulse to a hopper, which will send it back into there. And this is going to need a comparator. And if the uh, the signal reaches um, two blocks, so if it reaches this one, this is where we're going to need to put a repeater. So yeah, we got a little trouble. The wires are getting really close here, but we can do it right here. So let me grab a repeater, put it right there, and then we'll take this guy back. Thank you. And boom. And boom. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. I'm still wrong. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. hold on. <laughs> what we need to do now is if this is being powered, which it has something in there right now, well, if this power signal reaches two blocks, then it needs to power a uh, T flip flop. So let me set up another T flip flop. I'll probably just do it right here in the background. Um, the redstone is getting so big. So, so much redstone. But it's okay, because I really like this project. It's it's a ton of fun doing, doing a survival redstone project like this. Because I've never really done one this big before. It's, it's quite fun. Quite, quite fun. I'm enjoying myself. Okay, so redstone. If it reaches that block right there, then it will power a repeater and the repeater will do the uh, the T flip flop alright so here is what we are going to do we're gonna take that right there and that there and then the, there's our repeater we need the redstone 
Perfect. So that's going to power this and take the redstone all the way up through that circuit. Now this circuit right here, or this wire, is going to be heading down over here, which will decide randomly whether or not it wants to open or close the gate. So the hopper clock right here, got some redstone in there, will power this which will constantly test to see if this is a strong enough signal. So what we're going to do in this one is put a bunch of stuff that is one signal's worth. So I think that should be good. We'll put a stick in there. And, uh, oh wait, 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 no, we don't want to do that much. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it like that. And then in here we need a tool so we'll do a hmm let's see let's see we'll just do a shovel so we we only use use one thing and I'll even use stone so I don't use my iron because I was actually going to use iron and then I realized stone works just as well all right and this should be all done actually um or basically almost all done there we go and now let's go ahead and test it really quick so his health is down so let me go ahead and continue shooting him oh, he tried to shoot us but he's out of ammo we're gonna have to make an automatic way for him to gain some ammo as well all right one more health and he will be able to um, let out the zombies on us let's see it one more shot I think yep all right, the zombies started spawning. Let me break this right here. Let me just check this really quick. This should be going. Oh, it's not because this is powering that. So it's keeping it right there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So I need this wire to come down a bit. Um, and then power the block without powering this. Oh, you know what I can do? I can easily re re um. What do you call it? There we go. Redirect it. There we go. And now this should be going. It's still not going. Oh, I thought if I redirected it, it would be better. If I do that, yeah, there we go. Redstone will work it. Cool. Now it has a chance of opening this gate. I hope. Let's just check the redstone back here. What's going on? Okay, so that's powering it. And then as soon as... Oh! Okay, so it sent the signal. Oh, we don't have anything in here yet. That's what's missing. Okay. So now it's open. And then I have to battle this guy. Oh! Okay, so this is this is kind of cool already, and then I have to turn around and keep battling him off to the death. Okay, he didn't see me yet. I still have some time. Stay back. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, I like it already. It's pretty. Ah, freak! He got close. Okay, all right, all right. Not bad. Let's just keep attacking him. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. We got some food. That's what we're going to be eating during this battle is... Is our, uh... Zombie flesh that we gained from the fight. Alright, he's down to two health left. Okay. Can't sneak up on me. Haha, <laughs> you're down. Stay away from me. Okay. There we go. He should be dead soon. Let me check my back. Oh, cool. I am not being attacked. I don't see any zombies. Oh, there's one back there. It's still a little bright in there, so I'll have to darken it up a bit. Alright. Let's see. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. That should turn this off. I didn't... I don't think I set it up to turn it off. I need to, uh, I need to leave. And then when his health goes back up, we just fight these guys off. Die, suckers! Alright, yeah, I need to set it up so that when 
when he's dead, this gate closes and that power circuits also. Um, yeah, this will turn back on when he's dead. Yeah, this is pretty neat. Pretty nifty little invention, I say. Look at his health heading back up, and now it's the lights are on. Sweet. And come in here and get some stuff. The gate does not automatically close. Um, what we will do for that is if the gate is open, we will send another signal to that when we leave, and it'll automatically close the gate. I think that'll be best. Alright, but I think this is all we have time for for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Actually, actually, let's go check on the chicken farm now that now that we got it all set up and figured out. Dang it, man. I was just thinking recently that oh, this this was this elevator has been pretty good to me. I haven't fallen from it in a long time. And then of course, it has to prove me wrong. <laughs> Stupid slime evader. If you guys ever plan on building this, go ahead and do it, but don't expect it to work. <laughs> and especially if you're ever planning on doing this in a multiplayer server, I highly doubt that it'll work. So be warned. Be warned, my friends. Oh, which one? Protection 3, Respiration 3, three. Oh. Nice, not a bad helmet, not a bad helmet. Okay, get that guy back. We need to check the uh, the chickens. I'm going to stand right here, hopefully I don't die again. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. It helps my channel grow. And I will see you all in the next one. Let's just quickly check the chicken, chicken farm. Okay, we're almost there, almost there. I should have used a potion. Oh, there's a chicken right there. Hey, buddy. Okay. Just about done. Let's see if we got any chicken. No chicken yet. The ch I didn't hear any chicks grow or get burned yet. So they must not be ready yet. But next episode, there should be tons of chicken. That is what I'm hoping for because I am totally out of food. This is my last little bit here. Whew. All right, folks. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.